Today we're going to be talking about graphing systems of equations. First off, you're probably thinking, what are systems of equations? Well, some vocabulary. System of equations is basically a set of equations with the same variables. For example, if we have y equals 3x plus 2 and y equals 2x, they both have the same variable. They both have y's and they both have x's. So this, these two are a system of equations. Now, later on uh, in this lesson, you'll be, uh, we're going to be talking about different terms of system of equations. So this word, consistent. If, when you graph two equations, if the graph intersects at one point or if they are the same line. So it's either one point, or if they are at the same line, then the, then the system of equations is consistent. If they are independent, it's if the consistent system only crosses at one point. Only at one point. Then it would be independent. If it's dependent, it's going to say that the consistent system is the same line. Dependent is the same line. Inconsistent is if the lines do not cross. Thus, they are parallel. So right now, just write down uh, all five of these vocabulary words, and now we're going to go over them a little bit further. What I want you to do is to make this chart in your notes. So there are different possible solutions when it comes to graphing systems of equations. Now we have this graph. It looks like the graph, we have one equation, uh, a positive equation, and we have one negative equation. There, when it comes to the number of solutions, that means how many times does it cross on the grid? or on the coordinate plane. Since it only crosses one time, there's only one solution. Now the terminology, that's basically talking about the different vocabulary terms that we have. Now let's look back at the vocabulary terms that you wrote down. So it looks like there is at least one uh, there is at least one solution, so it is consistent. But it also has exactly one solution, so it's consistent and independent. So the terminology is that this, with where when it crosses at one point, it is both consistent and independent. Let's look at the next one, next graph. If you see that the, it's both red and a little bit of blue, and there's blue underneath of it, that means that these are the exact same equation and the exact same line. So how many, how many times does this cross? It crosses basically an infinite number of times. You could pick anywhere on this point on this on these lines and it will be the exact same. So point right here or here or here or here or here. Remember, it, these are continuous lines, so it could really be anywhere. Now the terminology it is consistent because it has at least one solution. and it is also dependent. It is dependent because it has an infinite number of solutions. Now let's look at the last graph. So with this I tried to draw them as parallel as possible so that they would never touch. So if they never touch, how many number of solutions are there? There are no solutions. Since there are no solutions, 
and the lines are parallel, the terminology is that it is inconsistent. When you are working through your problems on your homework, uh, make sure that you have uh, this graph up, it, or this table up, it will help you. So continuing on with this table, I want you to extend it a little bit more. Since we were talking about graphs, um, I want to focus now on the equations. Uh, you will be given some equations, and you're going to have to figure out which terminology it is, whether it's consistent independent, consistent dependent, or inconsistent. Um, I'm going to try to break this down as easily as possible for you. So for I'm going to start in the middle, where it's consistent dependent. So remember, consistent dependent means that they are the same line. So if we give, if we, you're, you get an equation that would be uh, y equals 2x plus 4, they're not going to give you the exact same equation. They're going to give you an equation where you have to rearrange it to see if it's the exact same. So they might give you uh, a negative 2x plus y is equal to 4. In this equation, all that you would have to do is just move this 2x over to the right. So you would then have y equals 2x plus 4. If you look, y equals 2x plus 4 and y equals 2x plus 4 are the exact same. So with this, they, they are consistent dependent. If they're the same, then they are consistent dependent. Now I'm going to go with the inconsistent. With the inconsistent, um, they're, the equations that they might show you would be like y equals uh, 4x minus 3. And then the other equation they might give you is y equals uh, 4x plus 10. Now remember, inconsistent means that the lines are parallel. You've learned in previous lessons, lines can only be parallel if the slopes are the same. In this case, the slopes are the same, exact same. So that if the slope is 4, then they would be inconsistent. So they have to have the same slope. Should be four in both of these cases. That would be inconsistent, but they would, they would have to be different y-intercepts. But focus on the slope. That would be inconsistent. Now, the most common one that we're going to be coming across is the consistent independent. This is the most common. So with the system of equations, it has to be one of these three. So if they are not the exact same equation, or if they do not have the exact same slope, then your answer is going to be consistent independent. So for example, you might see the equations uh, y equals 3x plus 1 and y equals uh, x minus 3. From here you can see they are not the exact same equation. They do not have the same slope because this is 1x. So 1 and, th one and 3 are different. Thus, they are consistent independent. Alright, time for a quick review. I forgot to say this earlier, but I'm saying it now. Step 1. Put all of your equations in slope-intercept form. Remember, that's the y equals mx plus b form. When you do that, you, it will make solving these problems so much easier for you. Next thing, make sure you use your notes on your homework. The table that we just created uh, in, these, in, this, in these slides will help you with every problem in the lesson. So please, let me know if you have any questions. Take your time. You'll do a great job.